So your office got bed bugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, y'all. Please bloop that. Like, y'all office, like, you're not waiting here with us. <laughs> I am scratching the shit out of my leg, and so are you. <laughs> All right, now we're not both ashy. Now it's in our head. Now we can never look in this office normal again. Because nope. I was like, oh, let me come over here. And I don't want that. I was like, should I see you in the car? They brought the dogs in. They brought Roscoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they brought the dogs. Because growing up in school, they were just like, if you have bed bugs, get the dogs. I've never heard of that until like 10 years ago. They, and I they, didn't hear about that until yesterday. Okay. And those dogs don't look like they sniff them. they like, oh, we were walking around the office. What does, what does a bed bug smell like? You knew never enter the room and be like, oh, y'all cooking bed bugs? Like, nah, it's not, it's not a smell like that. I know if I smell platinos, I know if I smell curry go. I don't know what bed bugs smell like. Bed bugs. If you do the math, enough people in New York have had bed bugs that it should be socially acceptable at the same time. Ooh, ooh. That changes the way people look at you, your house, your cups. People not gonna borrow shit from you. I remember when we were younger, I borrowed a Sega Genesis from my sister's boyfriend's house. And when we brought it to my house and we were plugging it in, one roach came out of it. We started seeing roaches for like three weeks after that. My mother was pissed. So anytime we borrowed something from him, we had to put it in a plastic bag and put it in the closet. And he found out he got so offended. But I was like, nigga, you got roaches, nigga. Nigga, you got roaches in your genesis. That's, nigga, I put it in the sign of the hedgehog shit. Now the roaches are running faster. That's not right. I seen a kid yesterday at like 10 p.m. He went to Bodega, ordered a bacon, egg, and cheese. I felt some kind of way, but I was like, was that classes with me? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of late. I never had uh, bacon, egg, and cheese like at night like that. Are you a strict like breakfast foods for breakfast? Yeah. Like, for lunch? My mother once made eggs for dinner and my little sister started crying. <laughs> so I get it. I was confused. I was like, we're poor now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. fuck. God damn. I got vaccinated. Did you? Yeah, like when yeah. I found out, when I was like in, I want to say junior high school, and I remember like I was going home and some kid was like, I can't wait. It's pizza night. And I was like, Y'all have pizza for dinner? Blew my mind. After that, I started seeing like on sitcoms and shit, people had pizza for dinner. I was like, wait a minute, where, where, where's, the, where's the fucking cassava? Where's the rice that we have in every meal? And my mother said, uh, you're very rude, of course. And she said, when you get older, you're going to miss Jamaican food. You're going to wish you could have had it every day. When you see me, you're going to want to fill a bucket full of it. And you're going to pay stupid amounts of money for all the food you wasted at this dinner table. And she's right. She is right. And to make it worse, no matter any Jamaican food I have, I'm just like, this is not up to snuff for my mother's stuff. So guess who won, mother? Yet another one. Another one. Still not getting that grandkid. <laughs> Bitch, I got some traveling to do. Woo! Somebody was like, what? There was like, why are you in Europe and Miro was not? I was like, I'll give you four reasons. Like, <laughs> How was Europe? Europe was wild. Because Europe, I went on like a white people vacation. You saw that? I wasn't like, you know, like you go on vacation, you just hit the beach and you show a drinking. Like I was learning, trying new cultures, eating food, waking up at 8 a.m. I was like, this shit is exhausting. You had the walk man on in the museum? I didn't do that. <laughs> did not do that. However, we did mushrooms before we went in the museum, which is not a good idea. Because then you start seeing the paintings moving and shit. Also, everyone is there like, oh, you don't know this painting? I was like, yeah, of course. Of course I know the Night Watchmen. Like, it's just like w one of the most famous paintings ever, right? I'm like trying to Google the shit, see what it even means. But yeah, Europe was chilling, man. Europe was chilling. Saw a lot of black people and I was like, and they were like, I was like, in America, when you do the head nod, you're supposed to head nod back. I got to be a wild dickhead American many times. Ever live out there? I could see myself living in Amsterdam, but I'd have to grow dreads. So, and not the cool dreads. I'd have to have like the partially bald kind of dreads, and I'd have to be like some sort of professor of African American studies or racism in France or some mm -hmm. bullshit like that. Does not pay well. I'd have to have like some sort of meth mixed ethnicity family. It's, it's required by law. I studied up while I was there in Amsterdam. My yeah. wife would probably work at like some sort of social media company we've never heard of here in America. She'd like work at Flugengagen. And uh, we'd have like some kid. Kid is like a weird complexion. Don't know why. And they just climb in the front of the bike and ride with my wife to work. And she's been on maternity leave for three years. We don't smoke weed, but we spend our days 
drinking wine at a bar next to a coffee shop where we judge American tourists for smoking weed. That's what I did not know. Amsterdam won't really fuck with weed like that. Like, they got it. They just was like, we don't want you using it, but if you're going to, go ahead. Is the weed in Amsterdam good? Or is it just like, what was the weed like? Well, see, the thing is, you're jet lagged. You're a little dehydrated no matter how much you hydrate. The weed wasn't fantastic. You have a lot of different varieties of weed, but I'm not one of those guys that be like, I don't really see differences in weed. I'm not, I feel like a Trump supporter. I'm like, I don't see color, you know, red, green, purple, yellow. Nah, if you, you can make up weed names. If you can tell, you're like, yo, this is, yo, this is the new ASAP Twiggy weed strain. It's in the cuz have you steed it in your house. I'll be like, all right, fine, I'll smoke it. Like, I've never smoked weed in my life. Shout out to Denmark. They got their own currency, which is like, pfft, shout out to y'all. That's kind of cute in this day and age. They don't fuck with uh, food after like 10 p.m., which is weird. Like, they're, you'll be in a bar. I know I've complained about this on several things. That's how outrageous it is. You'll be in a bar that doesn't close till 2, but they stop serving food at like 10 p.m. Make that make sense. Like, now I'm just going to be mad drunk and just like stumbling around the streets. So we were partying in London. And uh, so we get to the club, and right away they're like, oh, you guys are rappers. Clearly, you guys go to VIP. I don't know why they thought we were rappers. And so we go there. He orders hookah, and out comes a digital hookah. Digital hookah. All right? No stone. Shorty hit the number. I think it was like 15 because it's Celsius or whatever. It stays like that for the whole time you have it. It's quiet for you bottle girls. Like, you got to go back to school, become phlebotomists or something. You have to call no one over to flip the cold or nothing. It's a game change. It's kind of, it can't be good for you. It looks the same. It's just... It looks the same. It doesn't smell the same. I think it would taste. I don't really do hookah. It's a Babylon thing, but you know. Do they eat those butter cookies in, in Denmark or not? I did not see. I think those might be a fully American thing. Mm -hmm. I did not see. I imagine like they would sell them on the stores, like every corner. Souvenir. Like it's something people need. No, no, those those butter cookie tins. It's all a scam. Also, guess what channel is very popular in the coffee shops in Amsterdam? It's not Showtime. What channel? Well, you do the math. So for like three days, they're just like, you look so familiar. And I was like, I was like, show, for, I've only been on Showtime. That's all I've been on. Can't help y'all. No, I was tired. I was sitting there. I was like, these motherfuckers. It was, I could not escape it. Everywhere I go, there was one. I was like, this is not even that popular. That's the one person in Europe. People do fuck with the Showtime show a little bit. You watching Euphoria at all? Oh, that's the homies. I'm not caught up, but yeah. Any show where like they're crushing up pills and snorting. And I'm like, yo, you had me. You had me. People are like, they're too young to be doing that. That's what kids do, I imagine. Like, so people think they're too young to fake do it? No, people are like, kids don't be wilding like that. And I was like, fam, like, I went to a New York City public school. Like, Euphoria is a little tamer. You taste the difference between American fish fillet and your You know what? They all taste the same. They all taste the same. Because it's the same fish no matter where. It's like locally sourced in America and Alaska is haddock. So it tastes the same. The only difference is some places in Europe fried a little longer. And a lot of places look at you like you have two heads when you order it because I guess no one out there orders it. But you get it and you be like, yo, you can't really mess it up. It's a filet of fish, it's a bun, a little tartar sauce, maybe some cheese, you know. In England, you could get two patties. You get a little tartar sauce on it. You could get the cocktail sauce. The average hamburger in Europe wouldn't stand up to like Shake Shack and shit like that. But the filet of fish, you know, they was bringing the heat. They was holding the brother down. You can't do a power ranking, but depending on how smacked you are. Cause then, like if you if you know you're gonna fillet a fish, like you just put in there like, yo, let's get out of here. I want my fillet of fish. I brought it back to the hotel and they were really upset, but I was like, what are you gonna do? You gonna throw me out? I paid for my room already. I was violating, I was eating in the lobby, it stung up the lobby, but you know. You seen the conspiracy on Twitter that people don't know how tall you are? I have, I've Maybe seen that. Wide range of heights. You know what the worst part of that is? Now when people meet me, they either go, You're taller than I expected or you're shorter than I expected. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm 6'5". What? It doesn't show on TV? We tour guys have it hard. It's just perspective and shit. Like, just camera angles and shit. When I was in Europe, I just kept banging my forehead in the doorways. And like, if I was short, that wouldn't happen. Uh, a lot of cameras are anti-black and they shrink me. The same way, you know, women shrink themselves to compete with men for the looks of other females. Um, that's from a Beyonce album, because I'm woke as fuck. Yo, be sure to watch uh, Deezer Mirror we'll on Showtime, Mondays and Thursdays at 11 p.m. Ball bags. We weren't Emmy nominated, but we got an Emmy in the hood. So we good. And Maurice Dubois likes it. Ha, how you feel? Dubois boys.